Um, hi, my name is Scott Holston. I'm a physical therapist at Carolina's Healthcare System, Carolina's Neuromuscular ALS and MDA Center. I'm going to go over how to complete a hydraulic patient lifter transfer and the components of a hydraulic patient lifter and sling. Uh, first, uh, this is a manual hydraulic patient lifter. They also come in uh, powered options. The, the manual or the hydraulic the manual lifts are what are typically covered by insurance, so this is what we will uh, demonstrate. There is a first a, a knob that is can be is used to lower the lift, and then lock when you need to raise the lift back up. This is the the handle for the lever arm to use to pump the lift to get to the desired height. On the bottom, there's uh, another lever arm, and this acts to close in the bars of the base, of the base uh, when you need to slide under uh, a bed or get into narrow areas. And then also, you can use it to get open the base bars to get around a wheelchair or a toilet. There are typically brakes on the rear caster wheels you can use the lock to stabilize the hydraulic patient lifter. These lifts are uh, frequently re referred to as Hoyer lifts and that, that is just a name brand, but they, they are technically hydraulic patient lifters. There are different types of slings to use. Uh, for uh, patients with ALS, uh, tend to prefer what's called a divided leg sling with head support. The head support is important uh, due to disease progression, it gets harder to hold the head and neck up over time. Inside the, the sling, you'll see a, a, a rigid uh, but flexible surface that supports the head and spine. Now, the sling um, also has uh, divided leg loops. Uh, this is uh, essential to being able to uh, place the sling in and remove it while someone is sitting in a wheelchair. This is very important so the person is not sitting on a, a, a sling all day long, which defeats the purpose of any kind of uh, pressure relieving cushion they would be sitting on. Uh, and it also makes the, the person more comfortable if they're not sitting, sitting on uh, a fabric sling. There all, will be four loops that you use to attached to the, um, the handlebar. Uh, these can come with two points, four points, or six points. Uh, and then with the loops on the leg portion, there's typically at least three sets. The closer you get it towards the, the fabric or the closest loop, will make the person sit more upright. And if you put it in the furthest loop, it will make the person more reclined, like they're laying down. So if you're transferring someone into a wheelchair, it's very important to have it in the, the closest set of loops possible. And uh, those are the component. And one more component. There's also typically a handle on the back that can be used to pull the patient um, back into the wheelchair or align them uh, on the bed. And uh, those are the components of a hydraulic patient lifter and a sling.